So this question says, which of the following scatter plots shows a relationship that is appropriately modeled with the equation y equals a x to the b power, where a is positive and b is negative? And that's all we have, right? So interestingly, the graphs that we see or the scatter plots that we see are not meant to actually graph specifically the equation. Is, is meant to be a model, right? A model for this equation. So with that being said, I am gonna use a strategy called plug in your own number, P-I-Y-O-N, plug in your own number. I use this strategy here because I wish I knew what A equaled, and I wish I knew what B equaled, because if I knew those numbers, I could just graph the equation in a graphing calculator and be done. So because I was told that A is positive, I'm gonna make up a number for A and say that A is equal to two. You can really choose any number you want. Um, and because I'm told B is negative, I'm gonna say B is equal to negative three. Like I have a habit of choosing small numbers because typically I'm gonna end up doing the math with these values that I plug in. In this case, that's not happening because we're just gonna throw this into a graphing calculator anyway. So the equation that results from plugging these values in is y equals 2 x to the negative third power. Now when I plug that into my graphing calculator, what I'm going to see is I'm going to have a graph that has this shape here. Okay, in fact, it'll probably be a bit steeper than that even. Now, the reason why I've drawn these arrows like this instead of a smooth curve is because I understand that just because the graph I see on, you know, I, or I understand that the graph that I see on my graphing calculator is based upon these numbers that I chose, not exactly how the answer should or it has to look. Hopefully that makes sense, right? If you had chosen, for instance, that A equaled, I don't know, 100, and b equals negative 25, right? Your graph of y equals 100x to the negative 25 would look slightly different than mine, but it should have the exact same behavior, right? Of starting up high and then curving down towards the x-axis. So with that being said, we look at the graphs that are provided for our answer choices, and we see that choice b is the only answer that follows that same behavior that we expect to get. So choice B must be the correct answer here.